Hey, hey, everyone, and thank you for having me here and for having this event. Um, I hope every of you was satisfied what you faced yesterday and today and during this week. There was a lot of crypto involved, and we are proud to be uh, sponsors of the Gateway as well. So I, I, let's give, give another round of applause for yourselves because you are the ones that stay till the very end. And that's impressive. I, I was surprised to see a lot of you here. So um, since you are tired, I'm just going to tell you a little story, a little story of uh, BMO. So BMO's tone journey. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Ton and highlight that BMO as well as kind of all of the Ton ecosystem teams I've met is not hiding behind the mask. Ton people are real. And in my past 10 years, in my past crypto experience, I had many, many calls with people, with NFT avatars of pixels on the Zoom calls, and this is exactly the thought I've heard today on the legal crypto meetup. So it's, it's a problem for everyone, but not for Ton. And BMO team, BMO people is also real. It's a team of fintech and crypto savvy enthusiasts and asset management experts who are really fond and proud of doing what we do. And it is now liquid staking. BMO have delivered the first liquid staking protocol on Ton. And now we are an active and engaging community with great relationship across the whole ecosystem. I hope some of you could um, participate in the quest we've dropped with our friends from Robot, from Eva, D-Dust, Utonic, Tonekeeper, and uh, maybe gather some prizes out of it, and I would be happy if you did. So this is one thing, and yet BMO is an independent team, and we are self-funded, and we are having no VCs on board, and this is our strategy. So once we get a token, you, the only way to get it is to stake with us. Well, why did we do that? I'm not putting too much effort in explaining this because um, I know for sure that many of you are maybe even more experienced than I am. But just to recap, Ton is a POS network and therefore you need validators to make it secure and in order to make them work, you need to put a lot of tons there to stake them and as of now it is four 150,000 of tons. It is a lot. But with a liquid staking solution and BMO in particular, it becomes way more accessible. You can stake as, as little as one ton and get an ST ton uh, liquid asset in return. And now your assets are both working and you still can participate in the FI ecosystem. And um, what one thought that is very important to our mind is that once you have staked, you become the one who is now also making Tone more secure. So where we are now, meet BMO version V1. Uh, we are a little bit semi-centralized as of now in terms of governance. We have a permission verified validator set. And this is where a lot of big uh, key DeFi protocol started. This is the beginning. And so far we already have over 14 million tons staked, over 10 protocols for your ST ton utilization integrated. Those include DEXs, landing, CDPs, and many, many to go. And thank you for all the teams that we are working already together. And for those we met here, we have a long way to go. Um, and still, we have some challenges because Ton is a startup still, by spirit at least. And there are some challenges we face along this way. You can see that some data is not accessible where it's needed the most, or even the whole network being a little bit unstable. But 
what is very important to our mind is that it is being addressed a lot and right away. And for these early stages, it is very important that each response is taken immediately. We faced how after the network issued these uh, face death issues, the software for validators was updated like in hours. In, in the next few hours, all the validators have updated their software. So this teamwork means something. But as a startup, you have to go somewhere. And there is a lot of, for us and for the tone and the whole ecosystem to move towards and where to go. So from our side, and I think this aligns a lot with the overall ecosystem movement, we take the following steps. First one is decentralization efforts. And we are even considering a DAO for version two of our protocol. And for example, we are already having our operations moving to towards that part. Recently, have, just recently, like last week, we have onboarded a, a community support agent from our uh, social networks. Hey, Brumi, if you're watching this, we are happy to have you, and we are going to expand these efforts because this is important. This is where DeFi be begins. And also, we are looking uh, to make a one step further uh, to create a hybrid protocol organization because you definitely have to uh, have one step in the centralized world to interact with all the entities and another uh, food should be in the decentralized world. So this hybrid strategy is something we are trying to achieve. The next thing that is crucial for any Web3 uh, community and ecosystem is transparency. And we are making sure that you are always aware of where does the API come from, how are uh, rewards uh, calculated, how does the fee structure look like, and this is uh, that we are going to make a priority. Another thing that is more about Beam or not about the Tone ecosystem, because marketing is something that Tone is really nailing. I had past experience in, let's say, Polkadot ecosystem, and that is where you faced almost none of the support from the foundation, but Tone does a lot, and we are going to join this retail focused and promotional and educational activities, and maybe we even will include some funny assets to involve community and to gamify this education that we are rolling out. But there are some serious stuff as well. First is about institutionals. Um, there are a lot of efforts towards the security. Tone Foundation is doing a great job of onboarding uh, auditors here, but there is a way to go because uh, not every um, not every security auditor is familiar with Fancy and uh, this um, amount where you can pick from is not that much big. Then the legal and paperwork. This is something institutional. The big guys who really brings liquidity into the ecosystem will be looking forward to get the custody solutions, there are not that much yet in the Tone ecosystem. And uh, speaking about legal, I guess that we can see even more steps from Tone Foundation. Let's say that could it be great to see a special entity or zone organized maybe here in Dubai to have a place where protocols can attach themselves to have less um, pain, uh, uh, in the head to, to, to decide how to deal with all that complicated star, uh, stuff instead of focusing in tech. What we are going to do next towards this decentralization is the next version of the protocol. Uh, we are looking towards a fully decentralized version with community governance and even open coded and permissionless decentralized validator set involved. But there is something more we are trying to achieve here. BMO plans to become the leading tone infrastructure solution that will ensure both security and the quality and the performance of the whole ecosystem. And to achieve this, we are heavily r and now an innovative priority transaction market that will ensure guaranteed block priority 
and validator yield distribution. There are certain approaches coming from Ethereum space, and there is a lot of restaking appearing now. So we are definitely ready to take this one next step towards a more mature DeFi with such complicated features involved. I want to thank you again, and uh, I want to say that we are expecting you to be more smart, be with Vimo, and be with Ton. Thank you.